Next, we're going to find the value, given a logarithmic function, f of x equals log base 2 of x. The first example is f of 4. So f of 4 means we replace every x in f with 4. So f of x is log base 2 of x, so this would be log base 2 of 4. And remember what logs are. Logs are just exponents, and so we will are asking ourselves 2 to what power is equal to 4. Again, the base to what power is equal to the value 4. And we can see that 2 to the second power is equal to 4. So this means log base 2 of 4 has to be 2 only because 2 to the second power is 4. So this means f of 4 is equal to 2, or also known as an ordered pair. If we wanted to graph this log, we know that the ordered pair on this graph would be 4, 2, where 4 is the x value and 2 is the y value. So for the next example, f of 1, we replace every x in f with 1, so we get log base 2 of 1. And again, we ask ourselves, we look at the base 2, so 2 to what power would give us the value of the log, which is 1? Well, there's only one exponent that we can raise any number to in which it would equal 1, and that is 0. 2 to the 0 is equal to 1. Since the exponent is 1, this means log base 2 of 1 is 0 because 2 to the 0 power is 1. So this means that f of 1 is equal to 0. And if I wanted to write the ordered pair, it would be 1, 0 because 1 is the x value and 0 would be the y value. Lastly, we have f of 1 half, so f of 1 half is equal to log base 2 of 1 half. Now this one isn't so obvious, but again, just problems change, methods don't. So I still want to ask the same question as before, as the base 2 to what power would give me the value of the log, which is 1 half. So this one's not as straightforward, but we can see that if I wrote 1 half as 1 over 2 to the first power, and so I know now that 1 half could be rewritten as base 2 to the negative first power, and we can see now that 2 to the negative 1 power would give us 2 to the negative 1, meaning 2 to the negative 1 power gives us 1 half. Furthermore, this means that log base 2 of 1 half has to be negative 1, only because 2 to the negative 1 would give you 1 half. So this is f of 1 half is equal to negative 1. And again, the answer is negative 1 because 2 to the negative first power gives us 1 over 2 to the first, which is 1 half. And again, this is a function, so this would be an ordered pair on the graph, and if I wanted to graph f of x, I would have an ordered pair of 1 half, negative 1.